Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. Something a little bit different today as I am going to be looking at my new Autofull C3 gaming chair, but I can't fit it on my desk because it's massive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be going away and I'm gonna be filming some bits and I'm gonna talk over it and I'm going to be talking to you about this gaming chair and how I've upgraded it from my last video because I made a video on a gaming chair uh, maybe a year or two ago, I've upgraded to this new one. So sit back, relax and enjoy this. And something a little bit different as I talk about my new gaming chair for the tech desk. So here we have it and then this is the Autofill C3 and you can pick it up on amazon.co.uk around £220 and then on amazon.com for around $280, but I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of it. So when it arrived then, what I did was I just stuck it out on the floor, uh, spread it all out, opened it all up just so I had everything ready to go, and it filled me with loads of confidence because it was packaged really well. And obviously the first thing I did was take off all the plastic and then give it a good old feel, because this is um, what they call PU leather. It feels really good and it looks really nice. And the manual here, it's okay, it's quite complicated to follow, but I'll be honest with you, it's just screwing and unscrewing and putting things on. I reckon I could have done it without the manual, but I just followed along just in case. Um, and literally it was just like putting things on, sliding things in, and then you're done. So the last bit was the back plate, and then once that was on, I had it all set up. And it took around, I'd probably say 40 minutes to build it in total, so hardly any time at all. So if we start from the top to the bottom then, this is the top bit and it has this brilliant stitching, yellow contrasting with the black, which I really liked. And it has a neck pillow, which is done with a clasp at the back, as with most gaming chairs. And if you want to, you can just undo that and take it off entirely up to you. They really want you to know this is made by Autofull, by the way. Plenty of it times written on there. Good support on the sides and the back, nice and solid and the back plate here with the nice stitching. I think it looks really good. And then we also have this, which is a kind of like a memory foam, what they call is a waist pillow. Um, and that will sit on the back of your chair. Um, I do have a bit of an issue with this, um, which I'll talk about in the negatives later, but it really is a small issue. I'm, I can't sit on the chair without this pillow. So you just literally get it out of its packaging, stick it on the chair, and then that makes the seating a lot more comfortable. So the issue I have is, if you notice here, there's, there's no way of it actually sticking to the chair. So it's a piece of memory foam, and it's literally just stuck on the chair like that, and it can be freely moved. So the armrests themselves, they're good. Um, and probably another negative here is you may think they are a little bit short. They're 26 centimeters long, uh, maybe on the short side, but for me, they were okay. Plenty of adjustments up and down in either side up and down so you can get kind of like the, the perfect uh, position for you then we have the recliner so this is where you pull this back and it will go completely down i'm not going to embarrass myself and lay it all the way down and watch me struggle trying to get out of this seat so it just adjusts so it's a nice adjustment and i reckon you can get pretty much comfortable and then here is the slide out foot rest this is brilliant so these you just pull this out ping it out, stick your feet up on it, and then when you're done with it, you slide it back. Super comfy. I can actually even sit with this under my desk if I need to. So all it does, it just sits up there, smooth, super smooth, out, legs on. And again, it's made of this PU leather that they, that they call. And then also finally, we have the height adjustment. So you just pull that, as you do with most chairs, pull it and it goes up, or sit on it, pull it, and it goes down again. And then some stat fans, what it is, is it goes from 44 centimeters to the lowest, so this is measured from the floor to the top of the seat. And then when you ping it up, it goes up to a maximum of around 52 centimeters, so you can measure that for yourself. Then down the bottom there, we have the wheels, nice and spinny, really kind of loose and spinny. It works perfectly on every floor I've used and here on the carpet, easily spin it around on the carpet. Yeah. 
So there you go, and that was my look at the C3 gaming chair. I hope you liked it. It's something a little bit different on the channel, but obviously for reasons I couldn't fit it on, that's why it was done in that kind of style. Okay, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, plenty of positives, just a couple of negatives tiny little ones i shouldn't worry about it too much do let me know what you think of that chair as i said it's in the kind of budget to mid-end range definitely worth an upgrade over the 100 150 pound i paid for my last chair definitely step up up onto this one so that's the auto full c3 gaming chair go and have a look i'll leave links down below where you can go and have a look at it okay please do like please do subscribe to the next video bye bye